Hey friend, today I wanna to share with you something very rare, and that's Eric Clapton performing an acoustic version of Sunshine of Your Love. Now, this performance is not on YouTube. I had to go to Google and do some searching to find the video, but it brings up a really important lesson, and that's how do you take an epic rock song that has a full band and bring it down to just one guitar and do an acoustic version. Now this is something I have a lot of experience in playing with bands and working with singers over the years. I have many times been on tour and there's a full band on tour but as the guitar player, I might have to get up extra early on a lot of tour dates and meet the singer at a radio show and perform songs with them, just me and the singer. And one of the challenges you face to do this is taking all those different elements that people are used to hearing in the full recording and then just pull it off on one guitar. So let's take a look at how Clapton does this with Sunshine of Your Love. He starts off with these triads up here. So we're in the key of D and he's got on the fourth string 12, 11, 10. So just three notes there, that's the D. He plays that twice, then brings it down two frets to C, and then back up to D. So instead of playing power chords, or playing just a single note with distortion, he now plays triads, which has a nice tight sound to it. So he starts there, one and two and, then you shift up to the fifth string and play 12, 11, 10, and he actually slides into it. He does a lot of slides in that acoustic performance, so. Okay, walking down there. Then he does another slide into the 10th fret on the E string, eighth fret on the fifth string, back to the 10th fret on the E string. So that's the main riff there. Now those notes are actually all from something called the D minor blues scale, these notes here. So you could hear that in the riff. Now this is something very important to know on your guitar is the blues scale. And I wanna give you a PDF guide that's gonna show you the five blues scale patterns I use to master this scale anywhere on the neck. You can get this completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash bluescales or click the first link down below and you can download that as my gift to you. So make sure you know your blue scale and then you're gonna see that you know when you're working out songs like this. So we've got the riff one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four then again. He does this four times. Now there's a variation you could do. That's another one he does. And of course Clapton, you know, he would use double stops or he uses double stops all the time in his solos and rhythm playing here. What that is is you start the same way, D, C, D, and then you play 12, 11, 10, and then instead of going, here he goes 12 and 12 on the third and second strings to 10 and 10. Those are the double stops there. And then 12 on the fourth string. So that would sound like this. So that's just a little variation but it's a great riff to add in there using some double stops. And still, you know, that's something you would do on electric, but here he's doing it on acoustic as well. So after four times of this, then we go to what's called the four chord. Okay, and this is a common thing you hear in the blues all the time, which by the way, this riff is based off a classic blues progression. And again, tying in that blues scale, it's like it all connects here. Here I've got a G chord, okay? And that's the same shape. What I did was just move it to the third position. So that's gonna be five, four, three. Five on the fourth string, four on the third string, three on the second string. And that's the notes G, B, D, which now make up, you know, you can think about this, your G chord here. G, 
just three notes of it, and then you move it down to F, and then back up. One and two and I'm using all downs there on this part. Same up here. Just in a different place. Then I go to the fifth fret on the fifth string and walk it down. Four, three, so. Then shift to the third fret of the low E. One on the fifth string, back to the third fret of the low E, so. And the rhythm here, we're starting out with those eighth notes, but then the, the line walking down is syncopated. It comes on the off beats, so check it out. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and again. Okay, we play that two times, then back up to D two times. So this mirrors something called a 12 bar blues where we have a riff four times on the one chord D, which is basically this part. Then we have the riff repeated over the four chord two times, which is G here. Then we go back to two times on the D. So let's try that all together. So just to recap, four times, then two times, then two times. Get set and I'll count us in. One, two, three, four, and. Last time, going to G. That is the first part of the song. Then we go to the B section. Now here Clapton's gonna use three chords, A, C, and G. Let me show you how he plays them. He goes. Right here Clapton's using just three chords. The first one is A and this is the fingering that he uses for the open A chord in this performance. Now I don't use this fingering that much but I'm just copying it you know to copy Clapton. This is the open fifth string then middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string ring on the second fret of the third string pinky on the second fret of the second string and then open E. Okay, and then the next chord shape he's gonna play is, this is a really cool chord. It's, it's a C bar chord like this, you know, like a barred up A shape. He uses his pinky, so he uses the index here on the root note, fifth string, third fret, C, and then barring five, five, five. Here, I don't play the first string, so just like that, but then he actually, grabs that extra bass note. The, the name of this chord is C over G. And again, back to what I was talking about, filling out the sound and getting a strong sound. I mean, you could play C like this, or you could put the G in the bass, and that sounds even stronger, right? So we've got that C chord there, and then he turns to G like this. This is like what he uses on Old Love, and you'll see him play this chord all the time on the Unplugged record. This is a thumb chord. Third fret of the low E, then five, five, four, three. It's a G chord, basically. Just done like this. Okay, so just to recap, A, C over G, G. Now he's also gonna mix in some scratch strums. So he goes one and two and three and four and, and it's just sort of an eighth note, like wherever you can, you can add some more eighth note scratch strums. But we're gonna go down, up, down on the actual chord and then mute. Okay, one and two 
two and three and four and next chord C over G. Here we'll just go one, two and so that's hitting the chord on the downbeat, then two scratch strums as you change to the next chord, then do the same thing. Hit the chord on beat three, then two scratch strums. So one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three, four and we do three times. Then after the third time, we just go to A and we just build for two bars. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then. We're back to the riff after that. So here's the whole B section played as one piece. A one, two, three, four. So that is how Clapton takes this iconic blues rock song and turns it into an acoustic version. And you could play the same thing along with the original recording, the record version. And he's not changing the chords or anything, he's just sort of modifying it so it works on acoustic. Now remember, so much of this is based on the blues scale and to help you master that anywhere on the neck, Grab my free blue scale PDF guide. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash blue scales. And this is gonna show you the five patterns that I use to play the blue scale up and down the neck. So when you're learning songs like this, they're instantly gonna click faster because you're already familiar with the scale. And if you wanna play solos or come up with your own riffs, you gotta know the scale as well. So hope you enjoy that. As always, thanks for watching. And for more Clapton, check out this video next.